Good morning, everyone, and welcome to day 15 of my 31-day challenge. And I have a very special featured artist to bring to you today. Uh, special for many reasons. Uh, one, she is uh, my good friend. Two, she's so super talented. And three, today she is having a, um, a celebration of sorts um, over on her channel. So I wanted to tell you all about Paula Phillips, known to us in many circles as Journal Artista. Um, you know, yesterday on my blog I was talking about when you meet someone and you just click. Um, well, that's exactly what happened when I met Paula. Um, I found her through a series that she had posted on YouTube um, called Art from the Couch. And uh, Paula is in an art journaler. She is, um, you know, she's just super talented, guys. Um, this year she's gone through uh, an injury where she has broken her ankle, and hence she couldn't get up the stairs. So she made a, a, a series where she kept arting from the couch. It's a great series where she shows you all of her journal pages. Uh, I'm not sure what came first, but that led into many tutorial videos, demystifying acrylic paint, uh, watercolors, um, all kinds of mediums that I was not familiar with, really. Um, how we became such good friends is um, I sent her an email saying thank you. Um, I, I caught her on Ustream uh, of her very first show, and um, sent her an email thanking her and wanted to send her a rack, and, and um, just because I was so appreciative and we had such a good time. I later became her moderator, and um, she was the, you know, my, I was going to make a trip to, uh, to Canada and um, didn't work out, and that turned into the Buffalo trip. And as they say, the rest is history. Um, Paula's having a very special day today because she, uh, for her 31-day challenge, has been um, cleaning up her art room, which is upstairs. And tonight, over on Ustream, she will be uh, broadcasting from her art room for the first time. I'll have a link below. Also, um, today will be her 100th video on YouTube. So she's having a little party over on, on Ustream tonight. I really encourage you to check it out. She does amazing backgrounds, pages, um, and she's having just a great, great month. Um, I wanted to let you know that she is currently a featured artist in Art Journaling Magazine. Um, this is the uh, it's by Somerset Studio. You should run down to your uh, local bookstore, like Borders, um, and grab the Winter 2011 issue. And I'm just going to flip to a couple of, to show you a couple of her pages. But, you know, this is the, the rock star caliber of art that you're talking about. These are some of her jur journal pages. She wrote the article. Here's some more. I know my camera. Um, it's an, it's incredible. I mean, to, to have this, to be able to, you know, have it in my possession and, and see all that she does. Um, she is a teacher in 21 Secrets, which was a... Um, an online class. Um, she, let's see. She is a featured uh, contributor to the art journaling zine. Um, she's on Ustream Wednesdays and Saturdays um, at 9 p.m. And she is known everywhere as Journal Artista. So if you search her, you're going to find her on Twitter, you're going to find her on Facebook, you're going to find her everywhere. Journal Artista. Check this out, guys. So, um, aside from the amazing talent that you see, she she's an incredible gal. And she's a lot of fun. And she's really funny. Um, 
and, and I'm very happy to say she's my good friend. Um, so, what I decided to do was to make her a little box. Um, this box, um, pa Paula ha is, you know, in this big organizational phase right now, and um, I had this box, and I thought that, uh, and I also had another box um, shipping out to her today, so I wanted to do this this morning so I could, um, you know, include it. You know, Paula, I hope you can use this box in your new art room. Um, you know, tuck some things in it. I just thought it was, uh, I tried to put some put together some things that I, I know you like. So this box is 8x8 eight eight in size. Um, it has a removable lid. I, I just painted the interior black. And uh, I've been taking a lot of cues lately from Graphic 45 Paper. This is an image cut from the Translantique collection that I absolutely love. Um, it says Paris, Lyon, Mediterranean. Paula loves Paris. I also had a little tag with the Eiffel Tower. Um, I just, you know, and Paula also likes blue, and I loved our little beach scene here, so I thought that would be great. So all I've done is I've taken my acrylic paint dauber, my Adirondack paint dauber, in black, in pitch black. I've painted all of the box, inside out, bottom, top, so forth. Um, I edged the image in black soot, um, black soot distress ink, and I popped it up on the dimensionals. I've added um, the Paris tag. I've tied on some of my favorite, um, my new favorite. It's, this is Cherry Cobbler seam binding from uh, Stampin' Up. So I had some feathers in a matching color. These are I Am Rose's flowers that I hot glued on, but I went over them in black soot to kind of give them a little definition. And then the uh, ornament hook for the tag. And then on the side, I, went, I edged the box in that same seam binding to bring the color down, and then I have some lace. Um, this is Webster's Pages Designer Trim Lace from this packet. Um, I happened to buy that from uh, Carlene's store at the Pink Scrapper Boutique, and I had it. Um, you know, the lace went a little wonky, but I, I do like how it came out. So, Paula, I hope you can put, you know, some treasures in here and that you enjoy looking at it and that it can, you know, have a place of honor in your art room. Um, I'll have all of her links below, guys. You know, definitely something for everyone to check out and to learn. It's a fantastic good time over there on her channel. And... Um, you can check check her out uh, live uh, most days at, at some stage during the day um, as she's um, organizing her art room. Uh, a lot of great ideas are coming out of that, and she does it on Ustream, so we can all help support her and, and move forward. So I'm going to use your words, Paula. You're a wonderful, wonderful soul and you know so sharing and giving to the art community I cannot thank you enough for everything you've taught me um, thank you for your friendship um, and uh, I'm just so grateful for everything that you do so I'm going to say it like Paula does much love my friends have a wonderful Saturday hope to see you over there this evening and I'll be back tomorrow with day 16's artist Bye.